Hello, this is May, and for today's video, I am filming a basically a what I got for Christmas, but I am not titling that it that because this is not everything that I like got for Christmas. These are just things that I accumulated during the holiday season. So the first thing that I want to start off with is that I am wearing a new shirt that I got. Um, this is by the brand Sand Cloud. It is a um, brand that promotes the saving of marine life. So part of their profits go towards saving um, like certain marine animals and things like that. So if you would like to check them out, they have an Instagram and they have a page where you can buy their things. I bought this during one of their sales where their t-shirts were $5. Um, this is a their teal um, crop top. It's really cute. I also got another shirt from that sale. This is what it looks like. This is like the cotton candy type and it's a long sleeve instead. It has the same logo on a front pocket. And they usually come with the sticker that tells you the what type of shirt it is. This one is a red, white, blue, acid, long sleeve crop top. And I got these in an extra small. So this is the teal one, and then this is the red, white, and blue one. But it's more like cotton candy. And then on the back of both shirts, so the shirt I'm wearing right now and this one, it has their the name of their brand and then a little whale tail in the middle. Um, along the lines of when I bought these things together, I'm just going to go in the order of when I bought them together. Uh, I got this shirt, the other shirt I just showed you, and then I also got this little pin pack, which is um, around 450 So it comes with two pins and two stickers. And as you can see, as you can see, this is their um, handle for all of, the, of their social media on the box. This is what the box looks like. I really like the packaging. Most of their stuff is environmentally friendly. It's usually recycled. I just like that it's pretty simple, cute packaging too. So it slides out. And then what I got is um, two pins. So the first one is a dolphin, which is really cute. And it has their, the name of their brand on it. And then the other one is a turtle. They're both around the same color, and then this one has the logo in the middle, the same one that's on my shirt right here. So I really like those. I love collecting pins. I did try to find like a one of those flags that you put um, pins on, but I haven't found one really that I wanted, so I might just try and like DIY one later on. But yeah, got two pins from the brand, and then in the same pack you get um, two stickers. So you get this one, which is uh, the hashtag they use on a lot of their social media, it says hashtag save the fishies. And then here, this one, which is um, the brand logo with the name and then a cute little mandala uh, whale tail. Um, I'm pretty sure from the looks of it, this is actually a clear background, which I like. I don't like when the sticker is like just a block of white. It's, it's like this is cute because it has like a different border. But um, I like that this is actually, it's actually a clear background. So when I take it off, it'll be clear, not this white background. And I'll probably put this one on my laptop. But, um, so I got, the only gifts that I really got um, were from my family and then from uh, a couple of my friends. So my friend who lives in Chicago, she's been in a couple of my blogs when she visits, uh, sent me a gift and I also sent her one. So in her box that she sent me, I got another sand cloud thing, which is one of their hoodies. It's in the acid like blue. It has their logo and a shell in the front. And it is a cropped hoodie. I forgot to mention these are both crop tops. This, this shirt, this hoodie, and this other shirt. But um, yeah, I really like it. It's cute. Uh, I really wanted a hoodie from there. I might get another one eventually when they have another sale or something. But um, it came like wrapped up with this little logo. It tells you how to wash it and everything. And it's really cute. Um, the, the crop tops for me, they fit me at just the right length. And the hoodie, which is the tiny, tiny bit shorter, 
than the regular shirts. So next time I get one, I might get like a small or a medium, but this is a extra small, but I'll still wear it because it's really cute and I like it and it's soft on the inside. The next thing that my friend got me is a mug because I love collecting mugs just like I like collecting pins. And this is the mug she got me. It is kind of wide, which is nice. And then on both sides, this has a taco. Let's see if I can, okay. It has a taco and then it says, every now and then I fall apart, which is big mood. It's a big mood, but I really like it. It's really cute. I can't wait to use this because I love uh, using mugs. I use it for like any drink really. I don't even like drink coffee all that often. I don't make coffee ever. I only, the only time I ever drink coffee is when I go and buy it. But I do drink tea and hot chocolate and like normal drinks. So I'll probably just use that for all of those other things. And the last thing that my friend Nicole got me is this really cute blanket. Uh, it has pandas on it and they're all sleeping, which I find really cute. And I just really like this blanket. It's really, really soft. I love fuzzy blankets. I, I literally have another fuzzy blanket on my lap right now. And I don't know, it's really cute and it just matches my the aesthetic of my place right now because I have like all black furniture and like white or gray accents like this blanket right here but it's really cute so um a friend of mine had this inside joke about um when we would go around like kind of shopping around and then we would always make a couple puns which is terrible but um one of them was with this uh, a lot of them were with um wine so he got me one of the bottles that we found of which is called 19 crimes um, I'm not a big wine drinker, but unless it's like fruity because I really like sweet stuff. So I'll probably never drink this and I'll just have it around for like show or something. I'm only going to include this in here because I did buy it during the holiday season. But I got a pack of chapstick just because I needed it. And <laughs> you can already tell one's missing because I already opened up and I used it. But yeah, I never, I've never used these... Um, scents or flavors or whatever they are but um this one so far is nice and then these two don't sound too bad so okay these next few things are from my sister none of them are really she purposely bought for me for christmas it's more like she just gets things for me um throughout the year because we never see each other and we only see each other during um holiday seasons when she comes to visit because she doesn't live um where my family lives so the first thing uh, she got for me was this luggage tag. Um, I picked it up myself and this was a while ago, but it's really cute. It's just, uh, it's pretty durp, hard and durable and it's just, um, of like a watercolor camera because I felt like it mixed the two things where literally I'm using a camera right now and I like art. So those two went together. The next item that she got me was this cute little purse. It's blue and it has little tassels in the front that are really soft and it's pretty small. I would probably only use this like for to just put in like a, a couple cards and some cash and like maybe my phone and that's it. But um, she got this for me when she went on a trip to Mexico. So there's that. Uh, the next thing she got me was this cute little card holder. It's uh, by the brand Chanel. And it's just basic, it's just a basic card holder. I'll probably just use it when I use this tiny purse and cause it'll fit in there other than my actual wallet. Okay, the next thing she got me was this Louis Vuitton little clutch. The, as you can tell, this strap is still covered up cause I haven't used it yet, but it's really cute. I would probably use this for like when I don't need to carry a lot of stuff cause usually I like to carry a big purse. I tend to carry like a water bottle with me and like my big old wallet and that kind of thing. But yeah, I do like clutches and this is a pretty hefty clutch so I can fit a bunch of stuff in here if I, if I only need like a small little bag. And the last thing she got me were these lipsticks. I do like lipstick. Um, these shades just didn't work on my sister so she gave them to me to see if they would work on me. I really don't mind sharing things with her so that's this. Um, she gave me three lipsticks by the brand Lorac. That's how you pronounce it. I have no idea. 
I watch a lot of beauty gurus and I still don't know how to pronounce half the brands. But yeah, I've tested these colors a little bit. I really wouldn't wear these that often unless I was like going all out or something, but they're still cute and I like them. And then the last one is from the brand ColourPop, which is a brand I really like. Um, I own like a few of their lipsticks, but this is just one color that I don't have and I do like mattes. So I really like this. For Christmas, the gift that my parents basically gave to me and my siblings was a trip to um, Disney World and Universal Studios. So these are a few items that I bought while I was there. I also vlogged while I was there, so hopefully I can get that edited soon. But like a lot of the footage, not, not a lot of it, but like some of the footage has um, couldn't convert correctly because I was using a GoPro for part of it and my laptop does not have the compatibility with the GoPro, well, um, but otherwise, um, these are some of the items that I bought from there. So the first one is a chocolate frog. I really wanted one of these because um, I just like how the box looks, it's really cute. Like, everyone knows that this is a chocolate frog. My boyfriend even has barely watched Harry Potter, but he knew that this was a chocolate frog box, which I thought was really cute. So I wanted this one because it comes with the actual chocolate frog, which is not in here right now. It's in my fridge because I didn't want it to melt. I haven't eaten it yet. But it also comes with a card. So this is what the inside looks like. Usually the frog will be right here. And then this is the card I got. Let's see if I can... And this is the back. I really like it. The, the cards are pretty sturdy. Um, they are like, what is this called? Holographic. But I like the box. I, I'm a big fan of Harry Potter. Not as big a fan, probably, as my friend Yasmin, who also has a YouTube channel. She does like all Harry Potter stuff, so if you are a fan of Harry Potter, you will love her stuff, and I will link it below. But yeah, I just kind of bought this more for the aesthetic and the souvenir kind of thing, and I'll probably like set this up on a shelf so that it looks nice or something. Yeah. The next thing I got is a bottle of Felix Felicis or uh, the Luck Potion. Um, I will probably never ever drink this because literally it tells you that in this little tag right here, it tells you that it's literally just pure sugar. So I will probably never drink it. I'll probably just leave it in there because it's sealed. I'll probably never unseal it. So hopefully it won't go bad or anything. But if it ever does, I'll probably clear it out and then fill it with like some water and yellow fruit dye or something to make it look like it is right now. But I just thought it was kind of cool. And again, just like, again, <laughs> just like the chocolate frog, um, it's really more for the souvenir and the aesthetic um, of just having it on a shelf for my Harry Potter needs. And the last thing I bought were um, a couple more pins. So uh, the pins are a little bit expensive at Harry at Universal Studios in the Harry Potter section but um, so I got one of the ones that were like a little set so they're a little bit cheaper so I got um, a set of four of the house flags so let's see if I can get this clear up okay so I have it has the house colors and the name and it's, they're just little flags and this will probably um, Usually right now I keep my pins on like a pencil bag that I carry, but um, I have a lot and they're not, they like kind of weigh down and I carry that around when I'm at school. So that's why I really want to like either DIY or buy a like a pin flag for display. Hopefully it'll go somewhere, I can hang it up somewhere, but yeah. I thought these were really cute. I really want to get more pins from there. I know my friend Yasmin has the chocolate frog one which I saw. And that one was really really cool. I also saw one of the um, the egg from the uh, wizard cup where Harry had to open it underwater. They also had one of those where it, it really opened so I thought that was really cool. So that is all I got for this holiday season. Like I said this isn't really what I got for Christmas because these weren't like all presents but these were more like just what I received and like what I bought for myself and that kind of thing. Um, yeah, hopefully I can get the vlog of my Harry Potter trip soon. It, it, it lasted around 
three days. I spent one day in Epcot and then two in Universal Studios between the two parks that had the Harry Potter areas. But hopefully I can get that up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!